So what am I doing now? This is ridiculous because like I don't have anything better to do. It's like three days before my wedding. Um, we weren't doing anything to this kitchen until probably this winter. Mark thinks I'm ridiculous, but I am ridiculous. And I have to make coffee in this room, so I have to make it look somewhat presentable. So these walls, like I've said a million times, are so messed up. They're so weighty. Like, ooh, it goes in, it goes out, blah, blah, blah. The ceilings are nowhere close to being even, level, nothing. Could I have done a chalk line on this? I could have, but I didn't. And that's just the way I like it. I am taking stencils and I'm putting them up here. I'm using this, um, whatever this stuff is, Drydex spackling stuff. It goes on pink, that way I know when it's dry. Um, just taping it up there, slapping it on. Actually, it's kind of tedious because I need to make sure all the little, because you know, of course I picked out a stencil that has all these intricate little things in it. Because why wouldn't I do that? You gotta make sure you get it into each little groove. I don't really worry about making it totally um, smooth and level because I just go back through then with a little sanding block and take down the bumpy parts. And uh, it's gonna look old, just like this house. Anyway, that's my vision. If I don't like it, when we redo the kitchen, we'll cover it up with a uh, quarter inch drywall anyway. So no big deal, it's my time. Um, that's why I get here early in the morning. It doesn't affect me doing my business. I'm here early, I get um, five to 10 stencils done. This is gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna like it. Nothing's going to be even, the lines are gonna be even, and I'm okay with that. When I'm done, my vision right now, which could change a million times, is to paint this all a kind of a uh, antique gold because I'm gonna get uh, door handles for the cabinets that I painted in gold. So I'm gonna do an antique gold here on the ceiling. And then I will go in with some like black wax and um, give it some depth. But anyway, that's my vision for today. That could change two hours from now. But I'm excited and I'm liking it. So hopefully the final product will be just how I envision. That may be a week or two before I get it done, but we will be sure to keep you updated. Anyway, hold on, we're gonna take this off so you can see. I have to finish this first. Try to do one and it's going to touch your 
wet one. But also, you have to keep this stencil somewhat clean, so after about three times of, of using it, you have to wash it off because, I don't know, this isn't a good one, but here's one. You can see here, your uh, joint compound or whatever you're using, it's all built up on here and it impacts the little holes and therefore impacts your stencil. So you do have to keep that clean. Um, but as you can see, it is all done. When you, um, once you get all the stencils done, Try, you have to take um, a little hand sander and just not a hand sander, a sanding block, you know, three dollar sanding blocks. And wipe it down, wipe down the, the um, texture that is all bumpy. So you want some white or smooth um, surface. If you look over here, this is the last two I did today. I don't know if you can see how they're still bumpy because they're actually still drying. Now once they're dry, I will take that little sanding block and knock that down. Okay, so here's the next step. I know it's gonna look ridiculous right now, okay? I'm going in with the black paint, kind of takes away from the look of the stencil. Well, we're not stopping there because after I paint it all black and it looks like poo, I am going to go in with a chip brush with a silver metallic. I like to use the chip brush. I, I feel like I have more control. I know they you go to Menards, they try to sell you this roller. I think the roller sucks. Um, I really like the chip brush. I love the look that it gets. Um, and you, when you're painting it black, I like dark colors underneath my metallic because I feel like it makes the metallic pop a little bit more. The chip brush just allows you to have more control. Um, get a solid black and I will go in with chip brush with a metallic silver and then at this point again it could change it's already changed you see I started thinking I was going to do a, a coppery gold and, uh, I changed my mind on that so what I am going to do is black face with the silver metallic and then I think I will then go in with a little bit of gold on the exposed part. I don't know, we'll see the change that will keep me updated. Silver. 
It is the movement in the different directions that helps the metallic do what is so awesome about metallic and have shimmer and stuff in it. So you don't want to go all in one direction. Now I went this is the, the raised stencil to really pop. So I definitely am not looking for a heavy coverage. So I just keep swiping. It's kind of an X movement that I'm doing. Uh, and you can't keep going over your paint. Let it dry and go back. Don't keep going back over it. Okay, so I'm videoing this and trying to work at the same time, so it makes it a little bit harder. But again, so here's my metallic paint. Chip brush. Different direction, guys. See, I'm just kind of randomly doing X's. And it's going to look heavier in spots. You want to keep a wet working edge. You can come back tomorrow and add wherever you want. Don't try to overthink this. Your most difficult spot are these edges. So I just kind of... Get in there and then go back over it with some excess. And I'll, obviously, I'll have to touch up my wall paint, but look how the stencil starts to pop. Okay, so we are completed, at least for today. It's kind of hard to see video. It looks really good. Yeah, I guess you have to see it in person. So it's really important. Like I've got some areas in here that I have to touch up, but you cannot do this, don't be tempted to go back through. This, let this paint dry for a day, and then tomorrow I'll come in and I'll touch up wherever I want, wherever I see fit. But you can't keep working this uh, metallic paint. You do it and you move on, and then you wait a day, and then you can make any changes, any additions, if you wanna add some more, um, which honestly, there may be a few spots that I want to, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm probably still going to go in with a little bit of gold. I know I keep trying to tell myself not to because that gold will be a pain in the game. But it seems to be what I like to do. It on it looks heavy in areas um, and even on this film I guess it looks heavy in areas but when you're here in person it doesn't it all flows really good like looking at that shot there it looks like I've got splotches when you're in person here guys it looks amazing so there's my faux tin ceiling I have an open house here. Y'all can see it in person. Okay, so I was here early today. We didn't have any power. That's why I look like yang. But I got my ceiling done. Uh, 90% done. Here's the paint that I used. I'd show you that one. But I've got paint all over it so you can't see anything. So it's a Pittsburgh Metallic Finishes. Um, this is the silver. 
I also have gold. I absolutely love this paint. I've used it um, in numerous areas. Um, you ideally want to use a flat base paint as your undercoat. I tend to go for heavier ones. I guess it depends on what kind of metallic that you use, what color. Um, and they will recommend that you use a roller. They have a special roller, and I will tell you I tried that in the living room here against my... I knew I shouldn't have done it. Anyway, it looked like terrible, but I'm keeping it. Don't use the roller, guys. I use the chip brush. Um, just a cheap little chip brush. I go in X mode. X movements. Um, it's you don't want to just just roll it or go in a one direction. The whole thing about metallic is that it needs movement to show metallic. So I do like X's. I mean, there's no. It's totally random. It's totally random. It's like oh, 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 oh. Uh, it goes pretty quickly, um, but it's really important. To that you, wow, you can tell I have been in. Um, I was here early. In fact, I woke Mark up and I'm like, I want to run out of paint, I need you to go to Menards. And then I didn't run out of paint. Sorry, babe. Got him out of bed, though. Anyway, um, you got to keep a wet edge on this paint. You got to keep, like, you start in an area and then you kind of do um, a half circle and you do whole side to side to side because you want to keep a wet edge and once you've done it keep going don't stop don't go back don't go back and try to touch up areas um, because it affects the metallic paint wait till tomorrow you'll see here there's some areas that I will go in tomorrow and I will do some touch up some minor touch up not a lot like I'm really really happy with the way that this looks um, but there's some areas that I will touch up, and of course then I have to touch up my walls again and all that. Um, I'm so excited! It's looking really good. It's just really time consuming. But this is just another fact that you don't have to, not everything takes a lot of money. It may take a lot of time and your own work, but you can get a luxurious look or an expensive look just being creative and using paint and stencils and creativity. So never let money stop you from getting the look that you want.